police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels and the original was re-released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily.
Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McCown. Right, it was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth, I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. Guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's Master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. 
Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Previously during the investigation, these pup
Zack, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zack? raincoat doesn't look like it's been used much even though it rains here pretty often what waste of nice fabric eh Zach
You found the key. That's the right one? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him, and some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Hmm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. 